guys and welcome back to my channel so in this video I'm going to be doing a top knot today and I haven't done a top knot in a minute probably ever on my channel I actually don't know so I just did my makeup I don't know if I'm gonna show you, if you guys want to see the video I did film it but it could just float in my whole sea of unuploaded content with everything else if you guys don't want to see it but if you do want to see it let me know in the comment section below and I'll show it to you guys Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Y'all gonna be like, y'all have a little weird. And that's because um, y'all know those two twists in the collab video that me and Jalen did. If you guys haven't watched that, check it out. It was fun. We just smelled some products or whatever and tried to guess what they were. Anyway, make sure you click the, the little eye right here to check that out. But you guys saw that I had two twists in my hair. Now, I let those two twists just sit in my hair. I added a little gel to like the top. But other than that, I ain't add too much. And I just threw that back because I just want my hair out my face. And then I took them out today and it was pretty stretched. So I was like, this is perfect. This is a perfect day to do a top knot. So that's what my hair is in right now. And while it's just in this bun, I'm going to go ahead and start off. First, I'm going to take my mist sprayer. The, you guys know I got this from Sally's. I've mentioned it plenty of times. And you just want to wet the perimeter of your hair. And I like to do it with my mist bottle because you don't want it to just be like skit, 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 squirting and stuff. So, and you don't want it to be super wet. So, that's good enough. So, I do like to add this TGIN Buttercream Moisturizer to my hair, y'all. I love this stuff. This stuff is like what I love for my buns. Like, ain't nothing like it. It's nice and creamy. And, I don't know. It just sleeks everything down so well. And it smells so good. I'm going to go ahead and put that. So I have my hard bristle brush and I have a like a smoother bristle brush. So the reason I use two is because I like the hard one to kind of get through those tangles so that it's nice and smooth. And then I like to finish off styles with the smoother, softer brush. So that's what I like to do. And I'm just going to brush my hair back. You just want to brush it up and brush it back like that so now that you got everything all good you want to go ahead and take some of your eco styler gel you know what I'm saying get some of that and go on top of the moisturizer and now we are kind of nice and sleek and wet on the edges, but the back is still kind of puffy. That's what you want. You don't want everything to be all weighed down with product. You don't need all that, okay? So, I'm going to take these two hair ties that I have. They're like extra large. I put them, um, I think they're in my Amazon store. Y'all should check that out. And like I said, I stretched my hair. So, it's looking kind of crazy, but that's okay. And we're just going to go ahead and make sure we put this all the way at the top. So make sure you are going at the top of your head. I like mine to sit literally on the top. <laughs> so this part is going to take some time. Just make sure you are adding product, smoothing everything down, adding moisturizer, adding gel, and then brushing that up. All right, so as y'all can see, I got that nice and smooth. So now I'm going to take my two rubber bands. Let me show you guys what I'm doing so you guys can see. Do what? Pull. Twice. Okay, I just noticed that my camera cut off. So I'm going to redo this because I don't know where it stopped at. So once you have your whole thing done, you just want to take all of your hair, make sure you still have texture, a little bit of texture in your hair because that's what you want, okay? Don't, don't just stretch it out too much. And so I'm just going to twist my hair all the way to the bottom, get really tight at the bottom, okay? You, you want to get really, really tight at the bottom. I know it looks dumb. You're going to take it. And and basically push push this down. I don't know how to say it. And then just tuck the little piece 
in the back. And I use a big bobby pin. See, I have a big bobby pin. I use that to go over the hair and then stick. You see the hair is right here? And then secure that in right there, okay? And that one pin will secure that whole thing. And now you just wanna kinda play around with the top knot. As you can see, it's kinda going this way. Get you another bobby pin, pull this this way. If you want some to stick out, pull it out. If you don't, then bobby pin it in, you know. Let's see. I mean, it looks pretty good. I don't want it to be too perfect, just like that. All right, so now you're left with your hair looking kind of frizzy, probably. Not necessarily frizzy frizzy, but you know what, I ain't polished polished yet. So I grabbed my edges brush and I'm going to be using the Silk Elements um, Strength and Silk Edge Gel, Edge Control, whatever. Looks like that. Y'all know it looks like freaking Edge Control. Wait. It's actually, I actually don't have a lot left, but it's super duper clear and it's kind of, it's definitely like, you know, hard. So <laughs> this is not a soft one at all. And just, I like to just go down my edges first. And then we'll swoop them in a minute. Alright. Smooth that down. And then you can go in with any type of edge gel that you want. And sleek that thing down, girl. Okay, so I've sleeked out my edges. So, what? this ain't the final look. You gotta go ahead and take that guy to be. I'm gonna shake it out, because if you don't shake it up, it ain't gonna come out. Okay? It ain't gonna come out. I'm gonna spray my edges, and then I'm gonna tie it up with this scarf. Hold on. My chair wasn't even jacked up. I want y'all to see. And I like to spray the back. Might as well spray that bun. Got that thing up, girl. This the set here. This the set. That spray just freeze it in place. Be like, just like that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going nowhere. Huh. Hold on. Ooh. Just tie the whole thing up. Just, just, just tie it all up. Just, just do that thing. Do that thing. Ugh. Done. So you can go to sleep like this, or you can go do this for 15 minutes. Go get your drink on pregame. Do whatever you gotta do, girl. And then we're gonna come back and take this off, and then we're gonna be done. been 10 minutes because I don't have time for this <laughs> and we'll just take it off but you guys the longer you keep it on the more snatched you're gonna be yes ma'am all right take it off Roop. Roop. wait what you say that's sleep that's sleep it's sleep 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 gotta be here though anyway top knot for my people who like top knots. I'm not a big fan of a top knot actually because it shows every part of my face. You know what I'm saying? I got a little cone here, but that look. You know what I'm saying? Can't be doing that. But, you know, it's cute or whatever. You know, you can pin these hairs up in and whatever you want to do, but that's the simple way to do it. If you don't have a lot a lot of hair, just like try to t really twist it and then do this, but if if you have longer hair, this is how you do it, okay? Um, so yeah, you guys, I hope you guys liked this video. And if you did, give it a thumbs up because I like those. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.